In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to read the data from an unsupported sensor into Firefly. This could be any unsupported sensor or even an output from an Arduino. As an example I'm just going to use the ultrasonic distance sensor as it's currently not supported in Firefly by default. To start we need to get this sensor to read in the Arduino IDE environment and to do that head up to sketch, include library and manage libraries. Here you'll want to search for a library called new ping. Uh, I've already installed it but if you haven't it'll come up to the bottom uh, with an option to install it. Do so. Once that's installed you can go to the examples new ping and we just want to choose the basic new ping example so this example includes the library uh, requires two pins the trigger pin on pin 12 and the echo pin on 11 uh, you can change these pins but I'm going to keep it as default and the code is going to every 50 milliseconds print out the word ping uh, with the reading and then the, the word CM for centimeters. So just check that you've got your COM port selected and the correct board type and then upload the sketch. Now I'll show you what the output on that looks like. Head up to tools and serial monitor and here you'll see the output from the sensor quite a simple output just showing the distance mine's currently focused off somewhere in the distance of 28 centimeters but if I put a block in front of it you'll see that change Now we know that the sensor works and it's giving us the correct output, we can then read it into Firefly. So if you head over to Firefly, so in Firefly we're going to start with an open port and a boolean toggle. That's to turn the port on and off. I'm uh, going to enter a number of my port and open a number slider. I'm also going to enter this board rate here. Now this can be found on the Arduino sketch itself. Uh, that's this number up here. 115,200 I'm going to use a panel to hold that, but you can use other modules. And I'm just going to put another panel to see our output and make sure everything's working. I'm going to toggle it on, and it looks like everything's good to go. Next, instead of using the UNO read and write we've used before, we're actually going to use a serial read. Now this also needs a start toggle and a port number. I'm going to use another panel to see what the output is. And this is the same output we saw in the Arduino serial monitor, uh, which is not refreshing. It's not actually changing at the moment. If you see I put something up against it, there is no change. So to make that refresh, we want to use a timer. And I'm 
going to change that to 20 milliseconds. Now we're getting an update, which you can see if I use the board. Great, so effectively we have read the value into Firefly, um, but it's not very usable because of those characters or the words around the number we want. So we really just need the number value itself. Um, to pull that out, we're going to use something called a split. It's actually called a text split. So we enter the text to be split. And this module also needs the characters that we want to split on. So we can use another panel to hold those. and another panel to see the output. Okay, so at the moment you see that it's split the output into this list uh, because we haven't actually told it what to split on. Now we can actually pull this number out from here and use it, but to tidy it up a bit I'm going to enter the things we want to take away from this output, which is ping, a space, not that you can see it, uh, and the CM. So now it's given us a bunch of empty elements, and if we scroll down, we'll see number six is the output we want. I'm just going to right click and actually name this split result. And to pull this out of the list, we're going to use a module called item. And it's actually known as list item. Uh, now it requires a list, which this is. and the index number of the list. The index numbers are actually these down the left hand side. So we have a total of eight elements, which is actually one, two, three, four, five, the space, six, seven, eight, and the value itself. I'm gonna use another panel to hold that. Uh, though I could use a number slider in this case. And I want number six. And I'll name this to make it easy to see. don't need that. Just going to use another panel to see the output. And now we have a number that we can use in our Firefly program, like we do any number or value from a sensor. And I'll name that as well. Now using this method, if I still want to have an output on an Arduino, I actually have to use a second Arduino. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I've just set up a second Arduino with a servo on pin 9. This is just an example of an output. I 
find some space. Now to read a second Arduino, um, it's simply the same as the first, except you have to give it its own unique uh, port number. So for a serial write on a servo, we just need to pick Uno write. And bring in its own port. I'll give it its own toggle. And its own port number, which I'm not actually sure. So to find that out, I'm just going to bring down the ports available module. Okay, so it's saying I've got two ports available, uh, four which I'm already using, and three which is going to be this new Arduino. So I'll use a number slider by entering the number three. when I get that output to make sure it's working. Uh, it says that's functioning. I'll borrow that toggle switch to start the Uno write and I'll borrow the port number from there also. This second Arduino needs to be running the Firefly Fermata so I'm just going to make sure that is actually installed by going into the Arduino IDE and going to examples ah, going into sketchbook opening the Firefly Fermata now here I'm going to change the port number to my new Arduino and upload that Uh, it says access denied because I've still got it turned on in Firefly, so I'm just going to disconnect it there and upload it again. And now it's done successfully. Uh, so turn it back on. Now a servo is connected to digital pin 9 on the second Arduino, so I'm just going to right click that and change the output to servo. And I'm just going to plug the data coming from the distance sensor straight into the servo because it's within the 0 to 90 range of the servo. And now when I hold up my board, the servo position changes with distance. Now it's only a small change because I'm only moving a small distance. If I want to make that a little more exciting, I'm just going to find some space over here. I'm going to want to change the range I'm getting out into something that takes up more of the servo range. So I'll disconnect that temporarily. And to do this, I'm going to use the remap module, or remap numbers module. and it's going to take in my value to be remapped uh, it wants to know the source values and the target values I want to change it to so I'll do that by opening up a panel giving it the values I've got coming in, which are these values. So within the range I'm interested in, I'm only interested in sort of 3 up to maybe 12 or 13. So I'm going to say 3 to 13. And 
And what I really want that to become, using another panel, is the full range of the servo, which in our case is 0 to 90 degrees. And this is my remapped number, which I'm going to put straight into the servo. So now when I put the board up, we should see the full range of the servo. So in this example, I've shown you how to read in a value from an external Arduino program. Uh, in this case an unsupported ultrasonic sensor. Uh, take in that serial output from the Arduino, split it into something more useful. Uh, this case it's our distance in centimeters. Uh, pulled out that and then I've put it into the remap module, changed the range into something more useful and used it as an output on a second Arduino. Now the second Arduino is running the Firefly Fermata so that it can communicate with Firefly and it needs its own port number which will be different from the first Arduino. And that concludes the example.